What city can you go to and visit one of the world's best zoos, enjoy a mouth-watering Reuben sandwich, and catch a College World Series baseball game all in one day? Hey everyone, Kyle Anderson with Liberty Core Real Estate. I've lived in Omaha, Nebraska my whole life, and today I want to give you an idea of what it's like to live, work, and play in my hometown, as well as some interesting facts and tidbits. Omaha is located along the Missouri River, bordering the east side of the state and next door to Iowa. Some might think we're just a bunch of cornfields here in the Midwest, but actually Omaha is the biggest city in Nebraska and the metropolitan area is made up of many smaller communities and suburbs. Inside city limits, the population is near 500,000 people and the metropolitan area close to 1 million. With the growing population, our medium hub airport Epley Airfield is undergoing a massive multi-million dollar construction and renovation project. Being the largest city, rush hour isn't too bad here, and you can get to almost anywhere in under 30 minutes. Omaha's climate is classified as a hot, summer, humid, continental climate. We experience all four seasons here, and the humidity leads to frequent summer and spring thunderstorms. In the dog days of summer, you might experience some 100 degree temperatures, and in the middle of winter, you might see below freezing temps. You will need to have a lawnmower, a snow shovel, and a leaf rake for all those beautiful fall colors of the Midwest. But watch the weather forecast, because some days it could be 80 degrees, sunny, not a cloud in the sky, and the next, freezing 30 degrees, low in snow. We have a strong job market here and a low unemployment rate. Omaha is home to four Fortune 500 companies, including Berkshire Hathaway, Union Pacific Railroad, Hewitt Corporation, and Mutual of Omaha. The top employers in the metropolitan area are Offutt Air Force Base and CHI Health, as well as our local public schools and hospitals. In 2022, the U.S. Census Bureau estimated that the medium household income was $80,000. According to payscale.com, the cost of living in Omaha is 7% lower than the national average. They break this down into three categories, housing, which is 16% lower, utilities, 6% lower, and groceries 3% lower than the national average. Our local real estate board estimates that so far in 2023, the medium price for sold homes is 280,000, while new construction is closer to 435,000. With the National Association of Realtors reporting that the existing home sold price is 390,000, this puts Omaha 30% less than the national average. Although our home prices are lower, we do have one of the nation's highest property taxes. The majority of this going to our public schools and our local government to fund parks, libraries, infrastructure, transportation, and public safety workers. The Old Market is Omaha's downtown historic entertainment district, home to a variety of shops, restaurants, and art galleries. Take a leisurely stroll through the cobblestone streets, grab a bite to eat, or catch a concert or basketball game at the 17,000 plus seat CHI Health Arena. Located next to the arena, north of downtown, is Charles Schwab Field, home of the NCAA Men's College World Series. Omaha has held this year-end tournament since 1950, which brings an economic boost every year of almost $100 million to the city. Another huge attraction just south of downtown is Omaha's Henry Dorley Zoo. Ranking as the number one best zoo in 2023 by USA Today, it is home to over 17,000 animals of a thousand different species. Some of the main attractions include an aquarium, a desert dome, and an indoor rainforest. If you're into art, Omaha has plenty of museums to visit, including the Joslin Art Museum, which houses the most comprehensive permanent art collection in the state, and the Durham Museum, that prior to 1971 was Omaha Union Station, a passenger terminal railroad, and one of the Midwest's finest example of Art Deco architecture. Thanks for watching everyone. Stay tuned for more of my videos where I go in depth on more of the communities that make up the greater Omaha metropolitan area. If you're thinking about moving to Omaha, get a hold of me, leave a comment or question below, and I'd love to answer your questions and be happy to navigate you through the home buying experience in my hometown.